the front. This is going to be a very informative gear episode, apparently. Nice looking. It's got a very small face, though. A very small face. What do you want to do? He'll go down on the Fenrir. This is Fenrir. Dr. Satan Azuki's gear. He gets his full name pronounced. Awesome. Alright, that's uh, fairly heavy. It's, it's pretty medium. It was created by two of the sages of Shavat Balthazar and Melchior. They used the, the data from the Omnigear Fenril brought from Salalith by the Doctor and Phase Xenogears. It is a union of gear and nanotechnology, but the performance is the same as when it was an Omnigear. The default equipment is the sword, which seems to be the Doctor's weapon of choice in Disc 2, even though could have used it so much in disc one. He just refused to slice and dice. He just wanted to punch and kick people in the face. Still a little upset about that. All right, let's view the Anvari. We might have seen the Anvari before. We might have seen the Fenrir before, but Anvari is more likely. But it still looks awesome. Definitely an upgrade from the Brigandier. It was the Brigandier, right? Not the Brigandine. For some reason, I didn't get those confused. Here's the lowdown on the Anvari. The Young Master's gear. Pretty light, actually. Pretty light. And uh, yes, that's what you said about the Fenrir. Then they're using the blah, blah blah. Oh, there we go. They made it using the data on the Omni Gear left by Roni Fatima, an ancestor of the Young Master. And the data obtained from Xeno Gears is a combination of the latest gear tech. Okay, this is all new. Or old stuff. Right. Even it was found hidden in the underground in Nissan, its basic weapon equipment was the whip. That must mean the young master's ancestors must have used whips and rods too. I guess it's in the blood, huh? Whips? I don't know. He's kind of kinky. I'm just, I'm just gonna run away and check out Xeno Gears. This is the thing that we've been talking about this whole time. I mean, this is the name of the game right here. What do I want to do? I want to view Xeno Gears. Looks like it's kind of screaming, actually. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of white. Yeah, that's just me. What do I want to do? I want to hear the lowdown on the gear. This is Xeno Gears. It is phase gear. Height and weight. It's fairly heavy. It's fairly tall, too. Well, tall, too, was transformed after its contact with Zoha. Detailed specs cannot be ascertained by the measuring devices here. But then again, I wonder whether this gear has a limited ability to measure at all. It almost seems that this gear gets stronger and stronger as phase mental powers increase. Anyhow, the engine seems to have been left in there from before, so it should require fuel as before, but it wouldn't surprise me if this thing doesn't actually need fuel anymore. Yeah, yeah, it does. Trust me, I know it does. Uh, we'll get there, we'll get there. And I actually, that's it for, for what we need to do in the Yggdrasil, so I'm going to meet you at the next location on the world map. Oh my god, there's a world map! Before we get to the world map, apparently Sigurd has something he wants to say. Deus integrated with Zohar and awoke. But we found out Deus is in the center of the giant structure created out of the fallen Merkava. The only way we can think of to destroy Deus is to penetrate into there and make our way to the center. That structure used to be Merkava itself, but we must assume the inside has changed significantly. We don't know what dangers await inside of there. Please be very careful. Yeah, thanks Sigurd. Let me take care of it. I will destroy Deus, even if it costs me everything I have. Faye, are you sure about this? Bart? I know what you must be thinking now. If you destroy Deus, the pro proliferation of the nanomachines that are out to turn this planet itself into a weapon will stop. But if you end up losing Ellie, who was united with Deus for that very purpose, then what good will it be? But... That's right, Faye. She's our friend who's been through a lot with us, too. I think that saving a dear friend is just as important as protecting our planet or saving the world. Nope. Sorry, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just calling bullshit on that one. Just, no. If, if she has to die for the whole world to live, it, it happens. What are you going to do? What better reason is there to fight? If you can't even save your friends, then how could you save the world? Don't you agree? Yeah, Sig's right. Don't you ever give up, Faye. No matter what, you're the only one who can release Ellie from Deus' spell. But we'll give you as much backup as we can, so... Thanks a lot, Bart. Sigurd, I won't give up. 
He volunteered to fight for the young master and the rest of us. So it's our turn to fight for you and Ellie. Let's go, Faye, to gain true freedom! Shall we launch the Yggdrasil? Yes, let us launch it. So yeah, I know I, I sound kind of cold-hearted, but I'm like, yeah, uh, s saving one person is not the same as saving the world. It's it's just not. Oh my god, it's been uh, yeah, it's been forever since I had to fly this thing. <laughs> I forgot how to do it. Yeah, triangle moves it forward. So it's not too bad of a flight. So I might as well keep this in. We are headed. Aren't we headed here? I swear we were headed here. Where... Where am I headed? Oh, this is Animal Relic 1! No, 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 this is not where I'm going. Let's get back into the... into the Acre Cell. And we can try and go our way to victory. Which should be right up here. And also, I haven't spent much time in, uh doing this one. The first time I played it, I don't think I did any side quests. I just went right into, uh, right into Deus, and that is not a good idea to do at all. This does look like our first destination, though. So let's go to Tora's house. Yeah, sweet. Let's go inside, try to talk to Tora again, see what he's up to. How you doing, Tora? I saw Ellie naked here once brings back great memories. I will save them for later. What's up, dude? How you doing? Th there, there. Thanks for visiting. You're looking mighty healthy. I want to help you more, but this body can't survive unless it breathes the air here. Looks like I'm just about ready to meet my maker. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's boogie hugging now. Oh, Tora. Don't worry, I'll stop my moaning. Besides, I'll have a nice present for you. We received a manly mantle and a goddess robe. Now the the manly mantle. That is. What am I doing? That is just for men, as you might imagine, because it's manly. Uh, defense up when ally KO'd, but it's definitely an upgrade. Uh, yeah, still not gonna spoil who, who the final party is because honestly, I still don't know for sure. Still don't know. Faux show who my final party is going to be. So, that's pretty much all that you can do inside the house. But, what's really important is what you can do outside of this house. If the camera would agree with me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, camera. That'd be nice. We need to get in some battles out here. Hopefully, I think it's inside the forest, to be honest with you, where these guys come from. But it's been such a long time, I don't even know if I ever did it, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, that's right, the forest, it lags for whatever reason. Go, death blows! I, I screwed it up. Oh man, I am out of practice. And you missed. You fucking missed, Terry. How dare you miss any at all with your sword? Your sword of late showing up in this. Alright. Oh, that's right. He's he's insanely fast. Go, Rumble, Earth! No reason to really use Death Blows, but... You might as well. I don't think these are the enemies I'm looking for. Uh, aren't these the little Alamein? Yeah, I remember like... The, like Manges? Alamanges? Alamanias? I can't remember. It was... Because Alamania is uh, uh, French for, for Germany. So I don't remember... I'll take these guys out. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to cut out the rest of the random battles until I find the guy that I want. If it's in the forest, I'll let you know. If it's outside the forest, I'll let you know that as well. So let's take on these guys who are easy as hell because we don't even need a death blow to kill them. And the death blows do about three times as much damage as what does kill them. We have a 2200 experience. Oh, thanks so much. We get three eyeballs, though. Those are good for selling. And I will meet you when I find what I am looking for. And here's the enemy that I have been looking for. This guy has an insanely rare encounter rate. This is a little slug thing. I think it's called a slug -er. And this guy drops 
Speed Shoes, which we've already gone over. And holy crap, is there lag here? What the hell? Just die. Yeah, regular physical attacks do just one damage to him, but death blows eat him alive. And down he goes, just one shot. And since I have the traitor card equipped on Faye, you, well, you only get 500 experience, good lord. But since I have the, the traitor card, he will drop the speed shoes every time. I do need one more at least so I can have three speed shoes. Everybody in my uh, final party can get them. And yes, he only appears in the forest. So I will get that third pair of speed shoes and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I'm at our first optional dungeon of the game. We're at the lighthouse. Now, we've probably seen... I've seen it. I, I hope you guys have too. When we were in the AccuV region, uh, where the uh, where where we met Billy and all that good stuff over here, there's been this lighthouse here this whole time. Could not go in it. Now we can. I do have Satan and Emeralda with us here. I highly suggest you bring in Emeralda with you. The base of this lighthouse was built several thousand years ago. Islanders added a light to make it into a lighthouse, but no one knows what it is really. That that sounds good. So so what's inside? It's been locked up up until this point, so you probably could have come here. Everybody's feet are glitched through, whatever. But you could not have gone inside until now. So let's go ahead and go inside and see what's going on. Uh oh. There's like a s it's like a city in here. The city we saw from Emerald's ruins. We've come a long way from there. What is going on? Alright. I believe... Yeah, this is gears only, I believe. I don't think you can get out of your gears. It would be helpful if you worked with me a little bit. Just a little bit, camera. It looks like we can get out of our gears and go in here on foot. Okay, so I was wrong. Let's get out of our gears and go in here. Like he said. Because he knows everything. Let's go in there. And what do we find in here? Something good? Something, something awesome? Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, it leads upstairs. Okay, something upstairs. There is. There is a treasure chest. Is there another one over here? No, just the one. So let's hop over here and grab it. What do we get? We get a Death Blower 1, which is very, very, very useful. I like that Death Blower the best, better than any of the other ones, to be honest with you. Because you get to use it first. Eh, makes sense to me. Okay. Back into the gears. Uh, I, we haven't come across any enemies, but always, always good to be on the safe side, just in case they show up. You don't want to waste a turn getting into your gears. Uh, let's try going this other way. Through the city. Uh, it's kind of hard. Oh, there's a treasure chest over there. I, I was about to say, it's kind of hard to get the camera angled right with all these skyscrapers. We get a death blower three, which is awesome. But, uh, you know, like I said, I like the Death Blower 1 better. There we go. Finally a battle. I was trying to think that you didn't get any these douches again. And yeah, look at that. Automatic booster. 